Hey there, maybe you heard about this de-aging technology that Martin Scorsese used for Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci, and Harvey Keitel for the movie The Irishman. Well, now Netflix is de-aging Little Italy. They're taking this neighborhood in New York City back to 1975 to the day after Jimmy Hoffa disappeared. It's a big marketing push for the film The Irishman. Now, this is a movie that has already had limited release in movie theaters, but it doesn't get posted on Netflix until Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So in this big final push, Netflix is doing this experiential. No, he's, he's disappeared. I mean, he's Very disappeared. Very immersive. I mean, we all know what that oh means. My God. No, yeah, right marketing that. push. I mean, I think They've hired actors to come out and play people to talk about Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance. They've set up these phone booths, branded phone booths, but if you go in and answer the ringing telephone, it plays a clip from the movie. And in fact, they've got these people talking about Jimmy Hoffa, engaging the passers-by here. They've even printed up all of these newspapers dating back to 1975 and where Hoffa was disappeared. And these old Cadillacs, they're encouraging people to come in and make a confession. Hi there. Wanna go for a ride? Let's go for a ride. What kinds of questions do you ask in a confession? What do you know about Jimmy Hoffa? I know nothing about the disappearance, but I do know why Netflix is doing this. They say they want to create a fun experience, build brand engagement, deepen brand loyalty. And how will they measure if this is a success? They say, well, number one, the amount of foot traffic they're getting. There's a lot of buzz about this in New York City. Number two, social media traffic. And number three, earned media. And there, guys, I'm doing my part. Back to you. Contessa, please get a cannoli for me while you're in Little Italy. Meantime, I'm curious, is this something that other competitors are doing as well? Yeah, well, we've seen this with Hulu and The Handmaid's Tale, where they had women dressing up in the costume. We saw it with Amazon and the marvelous Mrs. Maisel bringing back an old-time deli. But here's the thing, Disney, for instance, they don't really need to do that because there are immersive opportunities for marketing at every one of their 300 retail outlets and all the theme parks and the cruises. Disney definitely has the geographic property to do this on a regular basis. So we haven't seen the same kind of experiential immersive marketing push for Disney Plus that we're seeing from Netflix.